hey viewers, it's easy to get into a routine, but it's difficult to unlearn things you thought you already knew, particularly when it comes to your hair. After all, don't you know what's best? It's been with you all of your life. Well, there's much more to it than that. Short or long, curly or straight, blonde or brunette, your hair is your crowning glory. But sometimes you make damaging mistakes without even realizing it. Don't worry, there are fixes too, and they just might be a lot simpler than you'd expect. And in today's video, we'll tell you the mistakes that are damaging your hair without you even knowing it. From shampooing too much, blow drying at the wrong temperature, not drying your hair out completely, styling it too tightly to overwashing and more. Watch until the end to find out all of them. Number one applying conditioner on your scalp. The biggest mistake which girls make is applying conditioner on the scalp. Doing so can actually clog your follicles and slow your hair growth. Apply conditioner only on the ends of your hair to keep it hydrated and protected against potential damage. Number two, intense towel drying. Intense towel drying can create harsh friction against the hair cuticle, which can lead to dull and frizzy hair. Instead of a towel, go for an old t-shirt that's made out of microfiber. Since it's much smoother, it's much better. Number three, using the wrong size brush. Using all sorts of brushes for your hair? It's time you stopped. Synthetic, plastic, and metal brushes increase breakage and weaken your hair as they're not porous like natural brushes. Try using boar bristle brushes, which are considered the best for getting shinier, healthier, stronger, and smoother hair. Enjoying the list so far? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Number four, blow drying hair with the wrong temperature. Your hair is very sensitive to anything extreme, be it heat or cold, and talk about a blow dryer that's too hot. In an effort to dry your hair faster, you can be totally frying your strands without even knowing it, plus triggering frizz and split ends. Patience is a virtue here. Begin blow drying your hair on the lowest heat setting possible. You may not need anything hotter than that, so don't jump straight to the extreme. Number five, brushing hair with the wrong temperature. Like we mentioned earlier, your hair is too sensitive to anything extreme, and anything you do while it's too moist could be problematic. Your hair is at its most fragile when wet, which is why brushing or combing just after the shower is a big no. At this stage, it's easy for even healthy hair to snap from tension. To avoid breakage, use your fingers to detangle and part your hair after towel drying. Number six, using a hair tie when it's still wet. Hair is at its most fragile when it's wet. Braid it, curl it, flip it around, pull it back into a ponytail or bun, whatever. As it's drying, it's a huge cause of breakage. Using hair ties will also result in a strange texture once your hair is dried. Sleeping on wet hair will lead to an unspeakable disaster in the history of hair care. Try using a styling cream and twisting hair in sections as it dries so you don't put stress on your strands. Number seven not drying your hair completely. We have to mention it again. Your hair is sensitive, guys. If your hair seems to get frizzy after blow drying, then it's very likely that you aren't drying your hair fully. If your hair looks dry but feels cold to the touch, it's a warning that there's still moisture left in your hair. So be sure that every section has been dried to room temperature post blow dry. It's the only way to protect yourself from unsightly frizz. Number eight, styling your hair too tightly. Hate your hair falling loose every time you braid it really tight? Congratulations on your hair breakage. Putting tension on your scalp is a great way to cause breakage, especially when it comes to tight braids, ponytails, and hair accessories. Stress at the hairline results in hairs being pulled out of the root, and wearing the same hairstyle consistently results in repetitive stress on the same areas, thus causing hair damage. Let your hair down and give it a rest once in a while. Number nine, holding on to the length that isn't healthy. Long hair is so closely tied to femininity in our culture that women go to great lengths to hold on to their long hair, even if it means keeping long hair that's damaged, fried, and breaking. Short, healthy hair is always more flattering than long, damaged hair. One way to keep your hair healthy is to get regular trims to prevent split ends. Number 10, overwashing your hair. This is a hotly contested topic, but when you wash your hair too much, you're stripping your hair of the essential oils. As a result, your hair might overcompensate and create more oil, causing greasy hair. If you have a coarser or more curly hair texture, overwashing can dry out your hair, causing frizz and breakage. 
For finer hair types, start by washing your hair every other day. For thick or curly hair types, washing once a week is fine. Number 11. Using products with drying agents. If your hair is chronically dry, the culprit might be in the products you use. Try switching to alcohol or paraben-free shampoos and conditioners, and don't use styling products with alcohol. Number 12. Not making enough time to properly care for your hair. Time is precious. Not many of us want to spend an entire afternoon taking care of styling our hair. But to achieve your perfect hair, you do need time and patience. Whether it's time at the salon or time spent deep conditioning or detangling, making your hair look its best sometimes takes more time than you anticipated. So be aware of that and make sure to set aside the time it takes to achieve the look you want. Number 13. Using too much hot water. Many people wash their hair with hot water. <laughs> this is a really serious mistake. Hot water activates the oil-producing glands and strips the hair of color. It's best to wash it in warmer, tepid water in order to remove the dirt, dilute the oil glands secretions, and improve blood circulation. Ideally, you should end the procedure with a cold shower. Such a finish will definitely stimulate the circulation at the roots of your hair, making it look shiny and smooth. Number 14. Using a hair dryer incorrectly. The improper use of a hair dryer can seriously damage your hair. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to using your dryer properly and avoiding mistakes. In the first instance, soak up the excess water off your hair with a towel. After that, by using the flat nozzle attachment on your hair dryer, which should be positioned at a sharp angle to the hair strands, begin drying your hair from the roots to the ends. This technique will close the cuticles. While the hair is still very wet, you can switch the dryer to maximum temperature and then gradually start decreasing the temperature to avoid over drying, thus damaging your hair. We would advise giving preference to the dryer models with multiple temperature settings when buying a new one. In the process of drying by treating your hair to a few blows of cold air. Number 15. Aggressive and frequent combing. If you comb your hair too much, it can lead to overstretching and breakage. It's also important to know that your hair is weakest when it's wet, and this means that you should never comb it immediately after showering. First, wait for the hair strands to dry up a bit. Secondly, gently separate them with your fingers. Start combing your hair from the roots to move toward the ends, using a comb with wide teeth. Also, to prevent snarls after showering, brush your hair before you hop in. If you prefer combing while showering, apply a conditioner or a hair mask first. Untangle your hair strands with your fingers and then brush it with a wide tooth comb. Number 16. Skipping Heat Protection you probably know by now that heat is one of the most damaging elements to your hair. During hot sunny days, wearing a hat is a must in order to offer good protection for your hair from the harmful rays. When you're buying a hat, make sure it isn't sitting too tightly on your head and that it's comfortable to wear. Despite the sun, using heat styling devices is another common hair sin. Styling irons, hair dryers, and such like cause your hair to lose fluid and make it brittle and dry. If you can't do without frequent blow drying, curling, or flattening, don't forget to apply a heat protective spray first along the whole length of your hair to shield strands and smooth cuticles. Using heat protectors will proactively protect your hair from damage, ensure shine, calm frizz, and prevent dryness. Also, make sure you never use hairspray before curling or straightening, only after. The alcohol in it burns in contact with heat. Number 17. Not oiling your hair regularly. Summer doesn't mean that your hair will not be dry at all. Regardless of whether your hair needs a nice massage at least once a week, use either coconut or olive oil to keep your scalp hydrated. You can also use an essential oil to make your hair smooth, shiny, and soft. What type of hair do you have? How many of these hair mistakes have you made? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.